This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. Many people would be preparing for the interview. The challenge is that uh, they have to know, they have to communicate clearly to the client that what is that they have done in the past three to four years in MSBA domain and what are the challenges they have faced it and what is the current project scenarios and uh, something like this the interviewer is going to be asking you okay so the first question is that as soon as you go to the company the first question is that uh, the interviewer is going to be asking you is that uh, tell me about yourself you can tell them that uh, my name is john i have five years of experience in msba domain along with SSIS and SSRS and SSAS, I also worked with uh, SQL Server and Cognos, something like that. You can tell them that whatever you know it. So my responsibilities are uh, loading the data from OLTP system to staging, where we do the lot of cleaning work. And after that, we are loading the data to the data warehousing with full loading and incremental loading. If you ask me my knowledge on the SSIS and SSRS stack, I have 3.5 years of experience, or you can tell them that I have five, six years of experience in SQL Server stack. Uh, I have eight out of 10, the rating. In SSIS side, I have three or four years of experience, and I got the knowledge on eight out of 10. And SSRS also, I'm good in a strong, and date, I have seven out of 10. SSAS last one year I'm working. I'm um, uh, you know very beginner to this uh, tool, so I can give you two or I can give you four out of ten. But I have very good knowledge in data warehousing concepts. So I have very good knowledge in SQL Server queries and store procedures, something like that. So this is what is my knowledge on it. Yeah. This conference will now be recorded. The next question they'll be asking you is that, uh, tell me about your project. What is it currently you're working on? You can tell them that currently I'm working on financial module or insurance module or banking module, whatever be the project, so forget about it. So you need to tell them that I'm getting a lot of data from the OLTP systems and the data being loaded into the staging from there we have a data warehouse we have multiple dimension tables and multiple factor tables where the data is being loaded to the dimension tables and fact tables right so we have a couple of sources like sql server is one of our source and we also get the data from flat files and excel sheets all flat file data excel sheet data will be dumped using ftp task we have one more sss package where it is going to be running every saturday or every weekend friday night so what it is going to be doing it's connecting to the company's ftp server downloading all the files from the ftp server to the local you know server then what we do is that the next day morning we schedule a data flow task one more ssis package where we read all these ssis you know all these excel sheets and all these flat files separately with the help of different ssis package and we have been loading the data to the staging from there again the data will be loaded to the data warehousing so since we have multiple ssi you know excel files so what are we uh, what we are doing is that we have created for each loop container so where we're going to be running through uh, each and every sheet within the excel file and we are you know looping through each and every file and we are loading the data to the you know destination table so here the thing is that we have the same you know, or data will be there, but the uh, the data is different. So only the, the the schema is the same. For example, we may get the sales uh, from India. We may get the sales from Dubai. We may get the sales from say South Africa. We may get the sales of you know, or say Europe, something like that. The sales information will be provided in Excel sheet and we get approximately uh, millions of records in the excel files and where oh, you know oh, you have different sheets where the data been stored 
but the column names are same but we may get different data altogether so what we are doing is that we are using flat you know uh, for each loop container to load this data into the you know uh, destination so that's how we'll be doing it so later we will also have a lot of flat files data for that we have created one more ss package we are loading all this data with the help of you know for each loop container and we are again looping through and all these files and load the data to the you know staging and from there the data would go to the data warehousing so once the data been loaded what we are doing all these files we are moving into the archive folder we have one more folder called archive folder all these files will be moved to the archive folder so that the this folder will be empty next week again we will get the new files so that there is no you know uh, old files are not going to reside in the current location so we'll get the new files again so again the second week saturday we're in the same uh, package we will download the data and from there uh, we'll dump into staging and from there the data is going to go to the data warehouse server so this is how we are you know getting the data from the ftp servers and that is lo lo locally loaded to the you know our systems clear and this is how we get the data <clears throat> if you ask me what is the size of the data and we're getting it so every month every month we're getting 500 gb of data from oltp system okay in oltp we have sql server is one source for us and as we told you flat file flat file means i'm talking about it could be csv file as well flat files are also called as csv files or we're also getting the data from excel sheets so we may get put together every month 500 gb of data we are getting it clear so 500 gb per month i'm talking about right so per month means per week approximately 125 gb of data per week we're getting from these systems okay this is very very important question that you have to know clear now every week every week we're getting a uh, lot of files data we get approximately flat files and excel files put together you may get 3000 files every week we'll get it so so 3000 files every week we get it so that is the point you have to tell them that the file size may be 5 mb to sometimes we may get a file size of 50 gb which you cannot open it a flat file sometimes we get it or with a minimum of you know 100 millions of records okay that file may be having 50 gb 60 gb of the size and uh, something like that some files may be having you know 10 mb 20 mb 1 gb 90 mb something like that approximately we get you know some file may be having 100 million records but put together every month we're getting you know 120 every week we're getting 125 gb of data if you ask me we may get some 200 millions of records every month or 100 millions of records every week sorry every week okay every month then you can think of at least some 500 600 800 millions of records will be loading clear so what is the data every month you get it so what is the data every week you get it what is the how many number of files you get it and what is the each file size you can tell them that we'll get 3000 files every week and uh, and some of the files may be having 5 m 5 mb 10 mb 50 mb but sometimes we may get large files you will not be able to open those files as well and you will be able to get you know sometimes 100 million records also in a single flat files okay something like that so it will take some three to four hours to load complete data to the staging all this data will be fed into the staging area and we clean it then later we'll be dumping the data into the data warehousing so data warehousing i'm talking about every month 500 gb and we're talking about 12 months of data 12 months means i'm talking about approximately 6 terabyte of data every year you have in your data warehouse now our data warehouse is containing 10 years of data so approximately 10 into 6 60 terabytes is the data warehouse size we have it so we are now 
currently dealing with this is the data warehouses in this we have created you know 40 to 50 cubes there is a separate team to create this cube and i'm not currently you know working on the creating cubes and all but there is a separate team where they have created lots of cubes we have 40 to 50 cubes been built already and lots of report thousands of reports been created and with the help of ssrs and uh, with the help of cognos right and now currently people are also using power bi but i'm not currently you know working on this so my core area is into i'm creating reports in ssrs and some of the reports in cognos and this is what is my data warehouse size and this is how we are loading the data to the data warehousing and this is the data warehouse size and we are getting all this excel files data flat file data in the ftp server and from there we, we are downloading into the local server that is a staging server from the staging the data will be loaded to the staging database from the staging database we have separate packages you know which are which are scheduled on weekly basis and these are you know loading the data to the dimension tables and fact tables and we know that dimension tables are always will have incremental loading and the fact tables always will be performed by the you know uh, full loading so this is the things currently we are working the current data warehouse size is 60 terabytes lost 10 years of data of my company is residing in this server okay you can tell them that the project name the client name what is the insurance module medical module and what is the team size we have we are currently 10 people are working so i'm the senior software engineer i have a team lead as well so last five years or three years i'm working on this project and my you know a module is that insurance module and current role in this project is you know i'm currently working on sss packages to perform full loading incremental loading and dumping the data to staging as well created 30 to 40 packages and work on sql and tsql where i have created a lot of store processes functions and you know views created lots of reports with the help of cognos and uh, this one and you know daily uh, we'll have you know client meetings and documentation coding and sometimes if i get some juniors i i supposed to give the kt sessions to them so these are my daily activities in this so a lot of the work i'm dealing here is development work and 30 percent of time i also work on the maintenance activity i'll get some of the reports the customer says that which is not working or you need to add some expressions or we need to add some kind of extra schemas over there so for that we get crs change request so based on that we are working on the existing code as well that is what is the maintenance activity but most of the times 60 to 70 percent of the time we'll be getting a fresh requirements based on that we have to you know uh, create a package create a report and we have to deploy all those reports to our source code control server and from there the 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 code will get deployed to the production servers thank you wow